YouTube fam, how y'all doing? TM Nation, how y'all doing? In this video, we're gonna take a look at the newly released Skull Candy Grind earbuds and see what sets them apart from the Grind Fuel earbuds. Being that the Grind Fuels are less than a year old now and they cost about 20 bucks more than the Grind earbuds, the natural question becomes, should I save some money and go for the cheaper grinds or should I pay a little bit more and get the grind fuels? I can tell you that over the past few months, I've used my grind fuel earbuds on many different occasions and these things really do check almost every box that I look for in a pair of earbuds. I mean, you're getting the companion app, good sound quality, great battery life, and wireless charging with the case. On the other hand, I have been using my Grind earbuds for a few days now, and although the experience you'll get with the Grind Fuels is similar, the grinds are not quite there, and you are missing some features that you will get with the Grind Fuels. Now, I did do a full unboxing video on the Grind Fuels, so I'll leave a link in the description if you wanna check that out. But in terms of the unboxing experience, it's pretty much the same between the two. With both pairs, you'll get your user manual and documentation, a small USB type C cable for charging, and of course you'll get your earbuds and the charging case. This brings me to one of the main differences that you have in between the two, and that is gonna be wireless charging with the case. If this is a feature that you have to have, you're only gonna get it with the grind fuels, when it comes to charging the case for the grind, you have to use a USB Type-C cable. That being said, the grind fuel case does feel a little bit heavier in the hand than the grind case does, but again, they appear to be the exact same size. Battery life wise, the specs are exactly the same. You can expect to get a maximum of about nine hours on a single charge with the earbuds, and the case will provide an additional three charges for a total usage of up to 40. Based on my experience with the Grind Fuel earbuds so far, I definitely think that the nine hours on a single charge is doable depending on how loud you listen to your media. Personally, I usually have them at about 75%, so if you listen to your media lower than I do, you'll probably be able to get that nine hours or maybe a bit more. The earbud design also remains unchanged. As you can see, they are not mini earbuds, but the comfort for me is fine. I've never had an issue with ear fatigue or discomfort. In my ears, they also do a pretty good job of staying in place during exercise, but if you sweat a lot or you do activities that require a lot of quick movements, you may have to reposition them every once in a while. But one thing that you will not have to worry about is water or sweat damaging these earbuds. Both pairs carry an IP55 dust and water resistance rating. I've used both pairs for exercise and even when they were completely wet from sweat during a workout, they never malfunctioned or had issues picking up my feedback. Touching on the amount of sound leakage that you'll get with these, both pairs are gonna leak some sound, but it's not terrible considering how loud they get. I can tell you from experience that if you have either pair set to the max volume and you have somebody within a one to two foot radius of you, they're likely gonna be able to hear what you're listening to pretty clearly. But as always, I will insert my leakage samples so that you guys can judge for yourselves. Let's check them out. Another difference that you have in between the two is the grinds are using Bluetooth 5.2 while the grind fuels being a little bit older are using 5.0. But so far I haven't had any issues maintaining a stable connection with either pair. They do just fine in terms of lag, watching YouTube videos and Amazon Prime movies. Now I would not recommend either pair for a hardcore mobile gamer as neither offers a low latency gaming mode, but if you're a casual mobile gamer like myself, 
you should be fine. And another thing that I do wanna touch on that you can do with both pairs is you can use one earbud at a time and leave the other in the case if you want to. Both pairs are also compatible with the improved Skull Candy app. This will allow you to use the Skull IQ functionality, access your voice controls, customize your playback controls, and create custom EQs. Now, one feature that you do not get with the Grind earbuds that you do get with the Grind Fuels is the Personalize Your Sound Test through the app. This is where the app will create a custom EQ that is optimized for your hearing. This is a pretty dope feature in my opinion and it is nice to have. But like I said earlier, you do have the ability to create your own custom EQs through the app no matter which pair you pick up. But if you want the app to do it for you, you're gonna have to go with the Grind Fuels. The new and improved Skull Candy app is one of the better companion apps out there. I did go through a lot of the functionality in my Grind Fuel video, so if you wanna learn a little bit more about it, check that video out. The playback controls, like most other things that you get with these earbuds, are exactly the same. You have one physical button on each earbud that you'll use to control your tracks, your calls, your voice assistant, and your volume. They do work fine for me on both pairs, but one thing that I'm not a huge fan of is the amount of force that you have to exert on them to execute a command. Now, I don't wanna give you the impression that you have to jam them down into your ears, but the force required is a little bit more than I like personally. As for the sound quality, this is one area where these earbuds are different in my opinion, Based on the information available on Skull Candy's website, the Grind Fuels are using 12 millimeter drivers, while the Grind Earbuds are using six. This being the case, I feel like I get a more full and powerful sound with the Grind Fuels, especially at higher volumes. That's not to say that the Grind sound weak by any means, but after I played the exact same song at the exact same volume through both pairs, one after another, there was a noticeable difference in the fullness that you get in between them. To my ears, the Grind Fuels do a slightly better job with sound separation, but I will say that I'm able to hear most of the detail in my music with both pairs. I also believe that the bass response that you get with the Grind Fuels is a little bit more punchy, but in all honesty, it's not that noticeable. It could be that I am a little bit biased towards the Grind Fuels just because I know that they have larger drivers and I've had more hands-on time with them, but I will say that I tried to remain as impartial as I could. In terms of the sound quality, I don't think that any changes have been made in between the two. I think that both pairs do a pretty good job of capturing clear speech. But I will insert my call quality samples for you guys so that you can judge for yourselves. Let's check them out. All right, guys. So right now I have the Grind earbuds paired to my iPhone 13 Pro. As you can see, the microphones on them are providing you with this audio. Now I'm not going to do any type of editing to this sample. So this should give you a pretty good idea of how they'll perform for voice calls. All right, guys. So right now I have the earbuds paired to my iPhone 13 Pro. As you can see, the audio that you're hearing right now is coming directly from the microphones on the earbuds. I am not gonna do any type of editing to this audio, so this should give you a pretty good idea of how these will perform for voice calls. So taking everything into consideration, guys, both pairs are extremely solid in my opinion. It's really gonna come down to your budget and whether or not you need those extra features that the Grind Fuels offer. In my opinion, if the only difference in between the two was wireless charging with the case, I would say that the $20 extra wouldn't be worth it for most people. But being that you're also getting those larger 12 millimeter drivers, along with some extra functionality through the Skull Candy app, I personally would pay the extra 20 bucks and go for the Grind Fuels. Before you get on out of here, if you rock with the channel and your boy Tech Mo, hit that subscribe button and knock that notification bell out so you won't miss any of my uploads. Welcome to TM Nation. Peace.